Now previously we had tried to uh, well correct these two spots and well this one looks like we may get away with it but this one definitely not. Now what I'm going to try to do I did some dry sanding on this and I wanted to share this. We don't know if this is going to work. Again, we're working, we're in uncharted territory here. But where the crazing is happening, the, the idea is not to let any more thinner go down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my airbrush and see if I can just do this center part of the tank with the airbrush. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. But it's worth a try because if it doesn't work, we're really in deep water and we're going to have to sandblast and buy decals and buy more paint and it's going to go for another month or two. So we hope, again, we're always trying new things. Airbrush will put a lot less thinner into the paint, so I'm going to mix some up. But again, this blue has been problematic all through the job. And it's the, pr the problem always seems to be that when you put blue over anything else, it attacks the blue. So if I have to, when I repaint the tank, I may have to do the blue first and then back mask it. I don't know. I'm trying not I'm trying like hell not to have to do that. So anyway, we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna fire up the compressor, try to get the uh well, let's see. So let's see if it's our lucky day. So this this is really last ditch effort. Boy oh boy, I hope this works. The idea is not to let any of the thinner get as little of the thinner penetrating as possible. This puts it on with a lot less thinner. And we're going to see. And then what I'll do is I'll take it inside and hit this with a hair dryer, so that'll get rid of some more of the thinner too. But boy, we're really, this is desperate because I know we don't want, I know Mark doesn't want to have to redo this tank. Well, what a pain in the ass that's going to be if that happens. But let's see. Okay, the idea is I'm going to get that much done. Get the first coat on. Run down and get the hair dryer on that. And, and then wait about 20 minutes. Now again, we are really in desperate straits here. And I've, I've had similar issues all through the world of modeling, all through the world of motorcycling. The one cure that seems to be the best is start with one brand of paint and the recommended thinner and go through the whole process with one brand. Where this went off the rails is because we're trying to mix and match. And I should have known right in the beginning that would be a problem. All right, so what I'm gonna do, as soon as this hooks out, Go get another coat on. As soon as there's enough blue on there, put the clear on and see if that seals it up. It would be wonderful if we recover from this, huh? I know Mark's, <laughs> Mark's probably just as unhappy as I am. But that's why YouTube videos are good. I've learned so much. I was thinking also as a last ditch effort, I know that from time to time these bikes come with a decal somewhere on the tank telling you not to do this or not to do that. Or I wonder if in the worst of all worlds we could find some kind of decal that would be in keeping with this just so we don't have to go back to sandblasting. Because boy, I'll tell you, that the thought of having to do that, we have so many hours involved in this project right now. There's a ton of work. Now oh, it's a giant help that the sun has come back out. Anything we could do to warm this product up here is going to be to our favor. And it'll actually, if we can get the clear, some clear on this and not have a terrible issue. I think what I'll be prone to do then is have Mark take a look at it and decide if he wants to go nuclear.
know what I think? I, I'm just I'm being pretty realistic here. I'm thinking we ought to just try putting some clear on this because we've got most of that. Let me get this right into the sun. So I want the sun at 90 degrees here. The girls have my table. Mm -hmm. That being a good neighbor thing, sometimes you really have to pay. Okay, now the trick is going to be if we can, let me just get the, the camera on this. If we can just get a coat of clear on that and seal it, wow, will I be happy. All right, so the deal here is I turned the can over, try to make it a little easier. It was really not, not real stable the other way. Maybe I ought to just go over and get the table. Now, believe it or not, the sun is a big factor now to make that dry. Oh, if, if it were a cloudy day or any colder, it's actually warming up. And I, this is what you gotta do. You gotta wait a half an hour now, 45 minutes, and see if that anything in that top coat goes down in and makes a mess. Now, I'll just try and even make this warmer. Oh. If you only knew how difficult this stuff is to do. Now most people that are professional painters never have this problem because they only use one or two brands of paint and they don't mix and match. But I think we're, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be okay. Mark, this may be Mark's luckiest day. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, I'm going to put the clear on the black bars. There's a little clear left in the gun. And believe me, we might have ducked a bullet here. We might have. Now, I normally would not do this. But again, this is a unique situation that it looks like the airbrush area is not giving me any problems, but who knows. And you never know a month later if that starts to show through, you just have to compound it out. But we do have enough clear on here, that's for sure. It's that area right there that's problematic. See, and this is an area where if somebody is a, a professional painter and they're using one brand of paint, well, you, at some point in time, you learn all the tricks of what to do and what not to do. But in our situation, it's, we're, we're mixing jellyfish with sharks and all kind of stuff. But the rules of engagement always apply. Heat is always your friend up to a point here. I am just going to quit while I'm ahead right now. I'm going to go shoot the black on those bars. Wow. How lucky can a boy be? I don't know if you can appreciate just how difficult this is. That is a difficult 
repair. Now, hopefully we're going to pull this off. The only downside is there'll be a little bit of a paint edge there, a little bit of compound on that because it won't even matter because what's underneath is blue. And hopefully the sun is, if the sun stays out now for another couple hours, we'll be in Fat City. Saved yourself, saved your butt again, I understand. <laughs> it looks great. Uh, we're going to have to uh, rubberize it, so if you drop it again, it'll bounce. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so listen, I want Max, Max just got his first bike. It's out in front of the house. We're going to go look at it. Bob Nabola's son. I'm sure everybody recognizes. Uh, and this is, I donated, Luciano had donated a leather jacket to me. I have a spare now. I donated it to Max. And until he gets his one-piece leather suit with his name on the back. And yeah. Don't touch Mark's tank. Oh, my God. Let's go look at your bike. Yeah. Okay. When you come back, the tank will be melted like a candle. So look, there's my paint table over there. That's why I'm painting on a garbage can. Okay. <laughs> That's my paint table. Hey, where's my paint table? Hey. Wow, that looks nice. It looks like the same paint Mark's bike is. Yeah. Oh, that's clean as a whistle. I know. Holy it's got a little thing. You know, this is from being in a garage. Ah, that doesn't matter. Against the wall oh, in the how city. Nice. You know? That doesn't matter. That's it. That's pretty much it. Wow, that is beautiful. The train's got good shape. It's only got uh, like not even 1360. 14, not even 1400 miles on it. 1400? 13, well, 1360. 1360. Yep, the river's the, good. What year is the tire made though? And it's probably original, it's a 2000. Yeah, but original tires, they're, they're probably dry by now. What year is this bike? 2004. 2004. It's an 04. Okay, so it could be 13 year old tires on it. Yeah. Check, check the, de the made date. Look at the date on it. Yeah, because that's real Kawasaki weights. That might be the real tires that came with it. The original tire, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The chain is even adjusted. Wow. Boy, that's a nice little bike. That is really cool. Did I, uh, did I give you the car keys or did I put them in the house? I have the car keys. Oh, you do. I was like, oh, the car keys. Really nice. Nice, huh, Care? Yeah. yeah. You want to start up? Yeah, start it up. I want to hear it. Lots okay. of blood. Uh, no, don't start it. You, the muff was on it. You'll burn us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. We'll hear it run when I come up to your house. Bye bye, honey. See ya. You did well for yourself. That looks nice. That feels solid. Yeah, they said it was in the garage for almost an entire lifetime before she, the new one bought it. She bought it last spring. Yeah. So. You know, you know what would be a great thing to do is have Luciano take it for a little ride. And if there's anything feels a little like, I don't think those tires don't, I want to see the date they were made. I was trying to find it. In the... 29, 13, 13, five years old, four years old. Yeah, five year old. 29, 13, they're five year old tires. Wow, that's not too bad. I mean, if you're going to do a track day, you want to get tires, but that's right. riding around in the street. That's fine. Yeah, the the instruments are clean. I'm sure everything works. It looks like they're brand new. Yeah. It still has a little sticker on it. Wow. Wow. Uh, the, muff uh, the muffler's still attached. The muffler's attached to the strap. You'll burn up the core, the thing. Uh, I guess we'll untie it. Now, your dad, has, your dad has a buffer, you know. I gave him a buffer for his I, birthday. I, I have to learn it. No, you, you, no, he's got to learn how to use you mean, it. Like the one I used uh, to buff up my dad's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Paybacks for a bitch. That is nice. That's a that's Look, one of the I cleanest two fifties I've seen. It was, you know, it's been wow. on the road. She, she she had it titled and registered, so she was yeah, getting on it. Yeah, started right up. Yeah. Oh, started up without even hitting your choke. Yeah, and Max, do yourself a favor. Don't take these off. Don't put those little baby things you can't see. While you're learning how to ride, you want to have some blinkers on a bike. So, all right. Might as well, as well, might as well start it up. Yeah, but that, just don't let that cook your strap there. Uh, yeah, this side. Don't worry about that. There's a muffler on this side as well. Excitement never yeah, ends here. Mark, it looks like we have salvaged your tank. I'm not sure we have, but... uh. Looks good to me. <laughs> we'll see when he pays the bill if the, if the check bounces. <laughs> he pays me in Zwartis or something. Yeah, that is really nice. Now a 250 Ninja is a real nice bike to learn how to ride on. Chris, if your son was interested in a bike, this is the type of bike you should get. Him. So it actually worked out great that you didn't get the VFR. And this worked out big, big to your favor. That, And you got a free leather jacket that 
has been worn by world champion Luciano Felici. Uh, yeah. This is a little weird here. What's the matter? Keys not work? Well... There may be two different keys, one for the thing and one for the gas? No, it's just that the, it's on the lock position, so I think it's jammed because of the bikes in the uh, tied up. We can loosen it up. Yeah. What a great way to end the video. We salvaged Mark's part. Max gets a bike and a leather jacket. And a leather jacket. And uh, the bike starts after we bought it. <laughs> <laughs> And Max drops the bike, puts it in reverse, and backs off the trailer. Wait, what? 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 Ends up going, by going viral. AMV, hey. huh? Hey, hey. So, Max, you are now officially a ninja. <laughs> now you have sure. to do what all ninjas do buy us coffee, <laughs> and uh, lunch, and supper. When and where? Look at this, it looks just like my painting table. It is my painting table. And my, this is the table for downstairs. Wow, my God. Oh, my God. Who knew I was this famous? Wow. Nice coat of paint on there. Match, it matches my motorcycle. What do you got for sale? Wow, last year I got a rug for my garage. This year I don't see anything I can use here. Got any new rugs? My garage is old and needs a rug. Whoa! Yeah, this this is for you. What is it? This is an Air Pro. This is this is. What is an Air Pro? I don't even know. It's kind of like a GoPro camera. This is. Oh yeah, you hook it on your motorcycle. You hook it on your motorcycle. It's got a. Takes videos. Ooh, got a handlebar. Look at that, Win. I think you should get that for Max. It, Max, you can do your own videos. Post them on it, YouTube. Uh, it takes pictures and video. Woo! Any porno tapes here I can look at? <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, I'm in this one. Okay. That's me. <laughs> Did you see Karen's book? Karen's in a book her daughter made with all her tablescapes. All tablescapes. No, oh, my oh, God. You guys got to see. Is this an airbrush? That. I saw she was yes. quoted in an, in an article. Wow. That is an airbrush. Too many pages yes. That is an book. airbrush. It should be just one page. Too many pages? Booze and drugs. <laughs> so actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding around, but this is a garage sale for trying to help out the people in Puerto Rico. And uh, most of the stuff is gone. They sold about three quarters of the stuff already. Is that the new bike? Is that the kid's That's bike? That's his bike, yeah. Nice. They wow. just got it. from. A, he bought it from a woman in the city. So Mark, I want to tell you something. You're a good friend. Luciano's a good friend. Luciano passed the jacket to me. I passed it on when I got my new jacket. And Halloween is coming up. I got it. This is this is really going to kill me. I got to walk behind the house and see how Mark's part is drying up. Let's just hope the alligator demons are, are gone for the day. You know, this day dragged on so long. I had to make two videos out of it. But Mark, I think you will be satisfied. And I think you will, you'll be very happy when you come pick it up, so. End of video, end of garage sale, I, I couldn't be happier. Hope you enjoyed the video, and b believe it or not, some of these painting tips, you think they're hokey and funky and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the day you need them, you got my phone number. And thanks for watching. So just before I put this part in the garage, I just had to come out and touch it and make sure it's dry. <laughs> oh, before I, before I tell Mark you owe me a thousand dollars. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. You'll never know the feeling you get when you salvage a part like that. This is like saving a patient's life. Hey, again, thanks for watching.